What's happening, Hot Wheelers? Welcome back to the Motor Hood. It's Joe Motor here with you, and I've got just a few little loose cars here I want to show you. Buddy uh, Greg Moore sent over. I sent him a little box of stuff, and uh, he returned fire pretty quickly with some of these little cars here that I thought I'd show you really quick. Um, go check out his channel. He's a younger YouTuber, just getting started out, and uh, you know he's addicted to Hot Wheels like the rest of us. So. Um, sent me this little box of goodies including this uh, old number one here this is a newer version as you can tell by the wheels and it's plastic in the hardware here if you find the original Blackwall version it's all metal so there you go oh old number five point five old number five don't know why I thought it was one here's a uh, 40 Ford coupe which is a really cool casting nice kind of a purple with uh, tribal flamage there on the side. Here's a jaded. I think I have the super treasure hunter this somewhere. A stunt team tampo. Kind of a cool car. Here's a tail dragger. Big old fat classic car there. Sweet. And uh, here's a car, I can't remember what this is called. It's like a G, it's not a GTO, it's like a GTS or something. I can't remember exactly. I've got another uh, casting of this somewhere, but it's got a really interesting curved hood here on the front. And uh, nice wheels. Kind of a tribal tempo there. Cool. What else we got? Here's a uh, Flight 03. Really, really cool. Low to the ground, the gain trophy, like the the uh, yellow and black tempo on this one, really cool. Another one with the yellow and black, it's kind of a GT. It's not a GT though, it's a uh, Celine S7. Pretty slick looking track car right there. And here's a GT. This one's cool right here. Very sweet looking car. I think that one just came out on the Cool Classics. Nice tampo design on that one. And here's a Quick and Sick with the blue FTEs. Icy blue. Clear interior or clear window to the chrome interior. Um, look at this old thing. This looks like it should be a really, really old piece, but you can tell by the wheels it's a, you know, a reissue. But this is something you'd think you would find an old metal car and I'm sure they do have them but uh, I can't remember what this is called old something old number three so keep it straight this is your old number three this is your old number five but uh, that's a really cool little roadster right there it's only got one pipe on the side I thought it was broke and needed another pipe over here but apparently it just comes out on one side here I don't know if I've ever seen that one before um, gotta love your JDM BRE Dotson I think this came out in a gray and a red and uh, here's a van from Matchbox that is a cool piece can't drive 55 who of you out there remembers who sang that song I can't drive 55 do you remember put it in the comments below if you remember that's a cool van though. Love Matchbox wheels. It's got a matte black finish on it. Really cool. Nice piece there. And then let's see, a couple of Baja Breakers. This is the Bounty Hunter. I'm guessing this came with a two-pack maybe with the Monster Jam Bounty Hunter piece. That's kind of cool. And then uh, here's another Baja Breaker. Beautiful. Nice blue with the uh, flameage on the side. That one looked great with a wheel swap and a metal base swap as well. And uh, let's see, probably my two favorites out of this are the little little gassers, little passing gassers. Look at this one here. This one is the uh, Hot Wheels. Got copper copper wheels on it. Nice single seater inside there. Red base. Funky little front wheels here. And this one is really cool. This one reminds me of the black uh, Chevy Bel Air gasser a little bit. Got Goodyear tires on the back. That one's sweet. 
Now if you know uh, the 2015H case is going to be the passing gasser and it's all yellow wheels and purple and crazy looking. And then the regular treasure hunt in the H case is the fast gassing. So I don't know what the deal is but they've got a gassing theme going on for for the H case in 2015. So keep a lookout for that. This one's really cool. Really like that black version. Okay, so that's it. Greg, thanks so much for the uh, return fire goodie box. Very much appreciated. You did not have to do that. But uh, go check out his channel if you haven't already. And one more thing I wanted to show you before I go. Let me adjust my camera and I'll show it to you. Oops, one more. I forgot to show this one. Look at this Silverado. That is crazy looking. Is it going to focus or is it just going to hang out here? Let's have it focus. How about? Jeez. Okay, there we go. Look at those wheels. Red line, black, uh, what, five spoke? Don't see those wheels that often. Pretty sweet. And you got a little crotch rocket in the back there. Painted tail lights. I don't know if I've seen that before. Did that come in a special pack or something? I don't remember seeing that one, but it's pretty cool. Little lowrider Silverado there. Anyway, what I was going to show you is um, several of you mentioned in my last video. I was showing these fastbacks and how the bodies came up, and I uh, neglected to just switch the bodies out, which you can certainly do. So uh, I thought I would show you what that looks like really quick. I'm sure several of you thought I was going to do that, and then when I just moved on, you guys were like, what the... <laughs> but uh, So this uh, Volkswagen Fastback from the Cool Classics that just came out, you can take the bodies right off. So here's the one from the Garage series, which came out like in 2012. Same thing. This one on a little tighter, but you can just take it right off. And then, you know, let's put it on there. See what it looks like. And it just fits right on there. I mean, it's easier to switch out than the, uh, the, uh, what's, what's the name of it? The Mini Cooper. Um, which, you know, you have a little, uh, thing on the bottom you have to get out, and then the top, whole body comes off of the Mini Cooper. Um, but this one is even easier to switch out fastback and look at that dang so why didn't I do that in the previous video I can see why some of you mentioned that so check it out uh, may have to get me a couple more of these just to uh, have a version of the uh, garage and the regular cool classic and then the customized cool classic so there is your easy custom for the day take that fastback body off and put it down here looks pretty good don't you think so I'll leave you with that for now. I've got more videos on the way, so stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.